having a tough time deciding between fine art and luxury transportation? Cadillac has the solution. I'm Tom Volk with Driven for the New York Times. The ELR is simply gorgeous. This is high fashion mobility, Armani on 20 inch wheels. Aggressively graceful, the shape draws a crowd while the powertrain draws current. This caddy is electrically powered and there's a gas tank. ELR is based on General Motors Voltec architecture. Sound familiar? Voltec? If you're thinking Chevrolet Volt, you move on to the lightning round, uh, no pun intended. They share the same platform and NASA grade powertrain. There's a total of 181 horsepower here. The electric motor delivers 295 pound feet of torque. The 1.4 liter gasoline engine runs a generator. A huge T-shaped lithium ion battery pack is in the spine and under the rear seats. Steering wheel paddles, I'll get to those in a minute. Software in the Cadillac is tweaked for more oomph from the electric motor since ELR is 274 pounds heavier than Volt. Simplified, once the battery is depleted, which in my case takes about 35 miles of driving, the generator kicks on to provide power for the electric motor. So ironically, as long as you keep this electric car full of gasoline, you can drive from Tampa to Seattle without recharging the battery. It is very, very quiet inside and out. Torque-rich acceleration is satisfying off the line, but this is no V-Sport or Tesla Model S for that matter. Running off the battery, zero to 60 is about nine seconds. It's a second quicker when powered by the generator. Okay, those steering wheel paddles, they're not for shifting, they're for regenerative braking. Yes, you can use the brake pedal to dump more power back into the ELR's battery, but it's kind of fun to use the paddles, even though they don't bring the ELR down to a complete stop. The Voltec architecture has a low center of gravity, which makes cornering fun. ELR gets a new hyperstrut front suspension, so ride and handling is noticeably improved from Volt. Once the generator kicks in, the ELR sounds much like a regular hybrid. Push the throttle down and the engine RPMs rise, and you can definitely hear it. In this mode, I'm seeing about 33 miles per gallon. It's easy to miss the switch from battery to generator. It's as elegant as the design. And that sheet metal isn't the only thing that wows. There's an impressive collection of premium materials in the cockpit. Spend a lot of time behind the wheel? Eh, this is the place to do it. The drama is theatrical. I think it's safe to say the Cadillac engineers have been watching blockbuster movies. The organization of the Q user interface is well done. The sensitivity of the haptic surfaces is not. Put simply, friends won't let adult friends ride in the back of the ELR. Actually, I find this to be the most comfortable position. Cadillac sells this as a two plus two. Uh, kids will be fine. A full charge on 240 current, the kind that your dryer uses, takes about five hours. On 110, that rises to 12. Green here means that you're charging. Chevy Volt is a practical hatchback. ELR is not. The opening is wide, but narrow. Mooch power from work with the portable charger. If GM used space-saving scissor hinges, I could probably get five packs of bath tissue in, not just four. Owners will probably stash golf clubs here though. This helps. Here's the real shocker. ELR starts at 76 grand before tax credits. This one is 82 with options. It has far less room, performance, and electric range than a Tesla Model S, and Volt buyers get much the same tech for half the price. Still, Lexus, Audi, or Mercedes have nothing like it. Cadillac ELR buyers get luxury and efficiency, plus a stunning piece of sculpture for their driveway. Well, folks, that's my opinion of the 2014 Cadillac ELR. Uh, let's just take one last moment and drink in the beauty, shall we? Ed Wilburn and crew, job well done. It may not be practical, but <laughs> it sure is good looking. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.
That is my opinion of the 2014 Cadillac ELR. Let's just take one last moment and drink in. Don't hit my camera. Thank you.